My name is Paul Maguire. I am a people photographer, mainly specialising in studio and location portraiture, which extends to strong visual photography from a range of corporate and social events. I grew up in a diverse, multicultural city uh, and I've developed a deep interest in identity and representation. I strive to capture the perfect image with a positive message and a beautiful aesthetic. I currently work in digital format and I have an understanding of industry software including Capture One, Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. I really enjoy the technical aspects of photography and I like to embrace new technologies that allow me to push the boundaries of what is possible within my practice. For a long time, photography was a, an unexplored territory for me. I used to wonder what makes some of these photographs that I came across so beautiful and communicative and successful. Uh, this led me to taking up the opportunity to study the subject at A-level at Bradford College. I enjoyed the course tremendously uh, as it gave me the time and the space to explore a variety of ideas, themes and techniques, as well as learning about key figures in photography's history. After the first year, I was offered the opportunity to enrol onto the BA photography course. And since that time, I've almost completed my degree uh, whilst creating an extensive portfolio of images that I'm now extremely proud of. My latest body of work explores male masculinity and aims to reimagine historical fragrance advertising campaigns that feature pervasive marketing strategies that would suggest that we live in a patriarchal society of male dominance. Male masculinity is an issue that I have a keen interest in. And my father passed away when I was just six years of age and I was raised by my mother and two older sisters. I sometimes question my own masculinity due to not having any influential male figures in my life whilst I was growing up. I have uh, been an avid collector of fragrances for many years uh, and on a recent visit to a department store, I was struck by the in-store point of sale, which displayed an overwhelming bias towards white, cisgender, heterosexual and affluent male masculinity. These ads will often depict the same connotations of dominance and sex appeal, often featuring a handsome white male dressed in a power suit or a leather jacket whilst being seduced by a beautiful female. I found this objectification of women disturbing and somewhat outdated. My aim is to reimagine the male fragrance advertisement by creating a series of images that challenge these stereotypes. The project has been underpinned by a solid foundation of research from books and journal articles uh, based on masculinity and gender identity. I also compiled an online survey which uh, enabled me to gather a sample of statistical information based on key questions around buying habits, brand perception and gender targeted marketing. Although it only returned a small sample size, it was interesting to find out that 25% of men who took part in the survey said they had worn a fragrance that was marketed towards the opposite sex. I've also researched influential photographers including Jean-Baptiste Mondino, uh, Glenn Lutchford and Oliviero Toscani, uh, who have all explored masculinity and gender representation within their practice. The coronavirus pandemic forced the majority of the population into lockdown, apart from important key workers. This placed me in a position where it was impossible to continue with the current theme of my project, as it's based around working with models on location. I was left feeling frustrated and anxious because I've worked extremely hard over the past three years, and I was worried about how I would complete my studies and also how it would affect my grades. I did try to redirect the project towards uh, being self-portrait led, uh, but this was a genre that I have very little experience in and I didn't feel confident about submitting work that I didn't feel totally passionate about. Uh, I decided uh, that after the lockdown was eased, I would continue with the original project proposal uh, by carrying out socially distanced photo shoots. During these past few months, I have found it challenging uh, not being around other students to discuss creative ideas uh, and to receive feedback. Uh, this has made me realise the importance of collaborations and teamwork. 
Ideally, I would have preferred to create all the photo shoots with Tej Moss, who I felt suited the, the narrative of the project perfectly. However, he became unavailable due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, which led me to source a different model, Steve Normandale, uh, who was willing to take part in this project. It was very difficult to find a model uh, with not only the correct look, uh, but one who was also willing to take part. My final short image curation was a process between myself and the owner of Genre Parfums, uh, Devin Brio, and my mentors, Josh Wilde and Claire Epton. I invited each person to select their top five images from the contact sheets of each photo shoot, and this was based on the narrative of the project. I then narrowed down the selection further by analysing the feedback that I received and taking control of the final decisions. In any commercial project scenario, the paying client will ultimately make the final image selection for his or her brand marketing strategy. So it was important for me to receive peer feedback uh, from external sources. The main focus of the narrative centres around the notion of freedom. All the images are of a male who appears to be at ease with his surroundings and unrestricted by the fast pace of normal life. His metrosexual clothing style and jewellery are subtle uh, symbolic references that promote a sense of liberation. It was important for me to not be too obvious with regards to the semiotic references uh, contained within the images, thus creating an air of mystery around the character. There are no clues to his sexuality, affluence or gender identity, and I was very careful to maintain a neutral, all-inclusive message. I feel that I've created a strong set of final images considering the circumstances that I was faced with. Uh, the location photo shoots were all created in adverse weather conditions, which made it more difficult to create the ideal planned aesthetic. I chose wide open rural areas to convey the story of this free-spirited individual. I like the symbolism of the lone tree growing out of the limestone. Um, it suggests that you can still grow strong and thrive in surroundings that you don't generally fit in with. All of the photo shoots were carried out on a time for prints basis and the models signed model release forms and were made aware of health and safety issues after carrying out risk assessments. On one of the photo shoots I slipped and, and fell which injured my arm and my leg uh, and also damaged some of my equipment which has now made me focus more on health and safety issues. This project has enabled me to plan and self-direct a full commercial marketing campaign from the initial concept right the way through to the curation of the final images. I used a Gantt planner to organise my workload and manage the project. This type of visual diary is a very useful checklist and motivational tool and is something that I will use to manage future projects throughout my professional development. I have demonstrated professionalism by initiating research, uh, leading group discussions, uh, collaborating with other industry professionals, sourcing the correct venues and locations, uh, and I've also organised and managed each photo shoot from the logistics to the styling and direction of the models. I now feel ready to pursue a, a career as a professional photographer in either a freelance role or working for an organisation. I will also continue to develop my craft skills by creating other bodies of work based around subjects that I uh, feel passionate about. My name is Paul Maguire, thank you for listening. <laughs>